Hello and welcome back. I am sorry to present to you the creepy camera guy, also known as good guy activism. In this video, Creepy David decides to audit the Bedford Park Boulevard train station in the Bronx, New York, where he immediately creeps upon the clerk. In response, several officers arrive and tell Creepy David that he has to leave. Creepy David attempts his usual fraud in their logic, which results in the officers just advising David that he can't harass the employee any further. But if Creepy David has no one to creep on, he has no meaning in life and no reason to be there. So he does the walk of shame outside the station, and the train station is safe once again here in the Friday Night Zone. Yo, yeah, let's, let's do an audit on the... On the uh... Let's do it on it on the uh, MTA, you know, I love to do the train stations. Just because, like, they should know too, like, there was this case law on the MTA. It's actual case law, like, why don't they know? Where's the training at? Look, officers. Clothes. My boy is My boy is a chocolate <laughs> man's face. He's obviously confused and concerned why there is some creepy weirdo standing in front of his window filming him. In New York, what David is doing is a clear sign of someone with mental issues that could potentially be dangerous. So this man is justified in feeling creeped out and unsafe. What is he doing? There is a little What is he doing over there? 17934 look at that face look at that that's the cars that they use to clean the machines look at that face he's so confused Excuse me. Please don't touch me. Thank you. You can't. He wants you off the station. Sir. Sir. Last recording and full weight. From the booth. What is your name and badge number? Yeah, Officer Cedar and Shimon 566. In the car. What's your name and badge number? Nice to meet you. Can I use your car since you touched me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Can I trust you? Thank you. What was you saying? Move away from the booth. Why? Because he wants to the station. He doesn't want me in the station? Yeah, he doesn't want you recording. Is this a private station or? Yeah, it's a private station. Yeah, here I'm go. sorry? So either, what if I was taking the train? You can take the train, but you can't record in here. Of like course that. I could. There's right? case law on it. No, right? So what, what crime is it? From the train station or paying? Sir, what crime is it? You're recording. It's trespassing. He's telling you he wants you out. It's, it's, it's trespassing, trespassing to record in public? He's trespassing. You're recording here. Either you take the train or. You know what the First Amendment is? You record. You want to record? That's fine. You know photography is not a crime, right? Okay. You know, photography is not a crime, right? Are you gonna leave? I'm not gonna believe your lies. Okay, are you gonna leave? Or are you gonna I'm take conducting the train? business right now. Right, yeah. Are you taking the train? You know what business is, right? Are you taking the train or no? I'm gonna answer the question, but you know what business is, right? No? You know what official are you business the train? is? Are you taking the train? You know what official business is, right? It's obvious that Mr. Creepy is the one that doesn't know the meaning of official business. The official business of the train station is to provide train transportation. If you are at a train station but have no intention of riding the train or doing anything that pertains to riding the train, such as buying a ticket or getting directions, then you have no business being there. Filming for a lame YouTube video or performing an audit, whatever you want to call it, is not official business, nor does it have anything to do with the business of the train station. Mr. Creepy, please, I implore you, stop talking. Every time you open your mouth, more brain cells escape.
Sir, you know, all somebody... we're asking you is to back away from that boot because he does not feel comfortable with you videotaping him. Okay. You so enforce fitness or you enforce law? Am I breaking the law? Well, actually, you are. According to the MTA Rules of Conduct and Fines, you are violating 1050.7i, Breach of Peace, which is a $50 fine, and states, no person on or in any facility or conveyance shall conduct themselves in any manner which may cause or tend to cause annoyance, alarm, or inconvenience to a reasonable person or create a breach of the peace. Mr. Creepy just lost more brain cells. Or maybe he already lost them, and this is the result. Move away from the I'm okay, I'm, I'm doing something. I'm telling you, I'm conducting business. No. It's my business. If I'm not breaking the law, well, right now, saying, really, is, wow. is this a consensual conversation? What? Is this consensual? Oh, I need consent at all. Is, is no, this need, consensual? Do I need consent at all? Am I being detained? No, you're, you're not being detained. Okay, so have a good day. Is right? it you're being ejected from the train station? From a public place. Are you going to be, are you taking the train? I'm conducting business right now. I might take the train, yeah. Okay, well, right now. That's a possibility. Okay, so I, 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 could take can the, I, I could take the can train, I right? Can I no, I'm okay. Cause okay because they, they, I don't even they, want to talk to you. You said right, I'm not so detained, so. You have, to, you have to leave the train station or take the train. Okay. Okay. Right. Which one are you going to do right now? Is this public? Right now, he's it's a in public control. space, right? He wants you out from the train station or go upstairs and take the train. Why? Is, am I committing a crime? Right now, he doesn't want you here. You're, you're, video came, you're videotaping him, all right? It's called the First Amendment. You okay. know what the First Amendment right. is, right? So you swore to protect what, it, what, remember? What, what, what are you going to do? You remember you, you guys swore to protect our rights, right? The Constitution? You know I'm not committing a crime. So why are you guys trying to bully me out of a public place? He clearly doesn't want you videotaping him. You just spoke about his feelings. What? I don't like him because he's light-skinned. Can you do something about it? No, we can't do But that's the way I feel. It. All right, then. So All right, then. He doesn't like get what on if the I was, train or exit the what station. What if I was praying? Praying? And he didn't like that I was praying. You want to tell you me to stop pray. praying? All right then. All right then. You know why I could pray? Because it's protected. You know why I could pray, right? Because it's protected. This is protected. Right. So right? You, you understand that you, by causing annoyance and alarm to this guy here, you're annoyance harassing him, right? This isn't a you crime. You understand you're harassing Photog him, but that is considered harassment. Photography is not a crime, sir. Right. So I'm glad you me know just what you standing here the taking pictures. To you what the law is, right? Me just in the penal law, harassment is to cause annoyance and alarm to an individual. By recording, you are causing annoyance and alarm to this individual here who works here in his workplace establishment. You are violating, obviously, your so basically, so you could be ejected from the station. Let me let me get this right. Basically, what you're saying, uh, there's no is that basically. Photography there's, I is just a crime. explained That's to you. That's what you said. Photography, photography is a of crime. an individual where it causes annoyance and alarm is a crime. It's harassment. Photography will never be a crime. It's a protected activity. Right. Under the First I'm, Amendment, I'm that you swore to protect. Know, but it's harassment. Right? They're what harassing. if I was praying and he didn't like that I was praying? You're going to tell me, yo, you can't, you got to leave a public place in work, in a, because he feels MTA uncomfortable that you're praying because I don't have the same religion? You understand what I'm trying to say? Right. So it's a protected activity. What are you proving to us right now? What I told you, you I'm conducting business. I'm doing a story. You're recording us, right? You want to yeah, be funny. You, you want to make a video. I, what are you proving to us? You think, us? think the Constitution is funny? You think violating my rights is funny? What are you proving to us right now? I'm asking no, 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 so, I'm asking you. I, this is not I told a Q&A, my friend. I told you. I'm telling you, what are you proving to us right now? You're sitting you sitting here recording the MTA worker you in a boot. Listen to me. Go ahead, you I speak and then, you, I'll let you speak and then I'll speak, okay? I'm respectfully speaking to you. Go ahead. My colleagues here have been respectfully speaking to you. You're not if listening you say to so. us. Go ahead, speak. Right. What, what business do you have sitting here bothering this individual by harassing and recording him while he's here at work? What are you doing? You're just sitting here recording for over a minute. You're sitting here recording this individual. What is your gain from that? What are you gaining from this instance right here? That you can't just politely either walk away or go do this business elsewhere. We asked you nicely multiple times. We explained to you, you did cause annoyance and alarm to this individual in here. We explained to you what business, what problem you're causing here with us. Why can't you just respectfully walk away? We're, we're giving you an opportunity to respectfully walk away. I, I don't understand what you, you clearly can't explain to me. Why? Why can't you just walk away? Seriously, I'm asking you very politely. I'm waiting for you to finish so I can answer your question. I'm finished. Why don't you tell me what you So, answers? I told you, I'm conducting business. Okay. Constitutionally protected business. That you, 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 and you swore to protect under God and your fellow men. Swore to uphold the Constitution, remember? Right. You did, right? So, so if I'm in, I'm in public, right? I'm checking up on my government workers, which I have a constitutional right to do in public. 
from public, right? So I don't see what the problem is. I asked you if I'm being detained, you said no. I asked you if I'm committing a crime, you said no, right? No, you, you, you don't, but you don't get it? You know that photography will never be a crime? The issue this is, is not a crime. Yeah, what you're doing while you're videotaping is causing alarm and annoyance. You don't enforce his feelings. You enforce the law. I have a right to check up on my government workers in the course of their check duties. Of you know right that, right? Then, so let me rock. If, no, if, if I'm not... If, alarm and annoyance how? Because police. his feelings? Do, do an investigation. Do you see me causing alarm? Yes. Do you see me cursing him out? Or do you he, see me just simply recording? Me right over there that he is and I told you I don't like him because he's. I don't like him because he has a bald spot. You want to help me? I'm going to ask him to leave? All right, then. Well, I'm afraid. I, I think it's too late. Creepy David has already opened his mouth too many times, and all his brain cells have escaped for, well, anything but the hollowness of his head. His arguments are so childish and weird. If a man's bald spot was standing in front of you, acting creepy and harassing you, you'd have a point, Mr. Creepy. <laughs> you know what? Never mind. But that's the way I feel. That's the way he feels. You want to report? Fine, I didn't say. First don't of all, record, don't record right first up here. Of all, Just record back I didn't say anything space. to him. I'm standing here in public, filming whatever I can see from public. Right, but it's your so actions. how's my your actions? actions as well. that is, I'm simply is standing is here peacefully right, recording. I didn't say nothing to him. So it doesn't matter how he feels. He cannot like me because I'm black. You want to ask me to leave the cool. station? Oh, he doesn't like it. But that's not skin. the incident. That's not the incident. It's my at right, hand. though. The incident. I'm this is the incident my rights at peacefully. Hand. Sir, I'm exercising my rights peacefully. Right. That's the long bottom line. I didn't say nothing to him. I'm simply asking you, why can't you just do the self? Are you done with your documentation and business? Like, are you well, done you, guys, you, you guys became you my business now right because you're trying to violate my rights when clearly I'm not doing that wrong. I'm All right, then. So what's, where's the crime at? Explain everything outside if you want. Okay. If I wanted to get on the train, I could get on the train, right? If I want to buy, if I want to buy something from the store, I could buy something from the store, right? This is a, all right. So I'm gonna do that on my time. This is public. I have a right to be here, do I not? I don't have a right to be here. You know, there's nothing wrong. There's nothing going on. But you see a citizen exercising their rights, and you just gotta say something. I don't. I don't get that. I don't get that. If I'm not committing a crime, I'm not doing nothing wrong. Leave me alone. I'm in public, right? You know we can record you guys. You know that. All right, we so what's the problem? So what's the problem? Because the issue is that you're doing it up the road. Step, I'm step not back. impeding business. If somebody wants to come conduct business, they can. No, I'm not impeding saying, business. I'm you can record. That's fine. That's okay. it, period. But I'm period. Saying, but I'm, period. No, I can no, record, no. period. There's something called safety. He doesn't feel safe. He's behind a six-inch bulletproof feel, glass. He doesn't, he doesn't feel safe. Because so he's ignorant were, to my rights. Why don't you still record from right here? So he doesn't, you're not up to front. Just don't block him. I'm not blocking him. I'm not impeding business. I'm not going anywhere I'm not supposed to be. I'm standing in a publicly accessible area, exercising my rights peacefully. Don't block his vision and you're good. That's it. Okay? Are you happy with that? Yes. That's it. Yeah, I just, I want you guys to remember the oath because your main, the main part of your job is to uphold the Constitution of America. Which is I can't, listen, I can't control how he feels. I can't. All right, then, so no. why are you trying to kick me out of a public they place? Want you to stop watching his view. So if you stand right there, you're fine. Then you're good. Okay. okay. We're done. Have a good day. Go. All right. All right. No, but like, honestly, okay, bro, right. respect, your, respect the oath that you took, bro. You're not a gang. You swore to protect my rights. Crazy. Walk of shame. That's what that is. Well, Mr. Creepy finally got something correct. It is the walk of shame but it's not the officers that are doing it. That's a walk of shame right there, look at them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six walks of shame. That's what that is. Six walks of shame at the same time. It's fucked up. Have a good day. You too, remember, remember, remember the oath that you took? I did, I told you Yeah, it, it took you 20 minutes though. I was here for less than two minutes, on my line. I need, I need, I need all your cards. You didn't even give me your card. You know what the right to know act is, right? Let me have it. I do know. And all right, all right. I don't I have any card. card I wasn't please. given any card. Can you write your name on this one? On a card. Thank you. I appreciate you it. Like, well, I can actually. Yeah, I have but I need you to understand that you photography is not a crime, though. Like, but you sir, can't. We never told you that you tried to. to you I mean, tried to turn no, no, no. it into harassment. No, it's not that we tried. We Did. tried to explain to you. If I didn't know my rights, if I didn't know my rights, you would have kicked me off the station and violated my rights. Everything, everything's been recorded. Fine, yeah. Have a good day. We just want to explain. Explain to you. No, 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 not now. We're done. We're done.
Yeah. But at no point did we ask you to stop recording. We just asked you to conduct yourself in a manner where I was. You doing what you I was. Okay. I wasn't yelling. I wasn't cursing nobody out. Standing there no, quietly and peacefully okay. recording. That's it. That's good, bro. You can't say it's harassing because he doesn't like that I'm recording. We're on the same page. Right. You too. God bless you. I need their cards. It's okay. I need your card, please. You never gave me your card. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank God for the right to know act, right? Appreciate you. You guys stay safe, all right? Have a good night. Thank you. It's crazy. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. That was just crazy. Sad. That was sad. Yes, it is very sad that Mr. Creepy has nothing better to do than to annoy and creep out people who do have something better to do. Anyway, if you like this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. It's now time for the cool down to lower our blood pressure back to normal, take a deep breath, and return to a saner world without fraudulers. To assist you in doing this, I take you from a moron to mongooses.